What we've got here is a simple timer, shaped like an egg and egg timer. You just wind it up, and after 12 minutes, it rings. My question is, is this useful mechanism, can it be repurposed for something more interesting? That's what I'm going to look at today. Well, it comes apart pretty easy, the outer shell housing, uh, this bit, which uh, holds the guts, and this, which is proper, a bit of clockwork with uh, cogs and springs and little, well, little whirly bits that move. You just don't see much clockwork stuff nowadays. It's quite, uh, it's quite quaint and lovely to look at. Anyway, the bit I'm interested in is here. This bit will turn and then go backwards over a period of time. So I think I can use that for something a bit more exciting. So let's put that together now. First, I took a few basic measurements. Next, using SketchUp, I quickly draft out this little holder for it where it's just got a flat base and a sort of circle to hold it with this little bit out the middle where there's um, a screw that's not flush on the base of the unit. And then we print it. Four minutes in and we've... It's still doing the first 0.3 millimeter, which is quite a long, slow uh, fill-in. The uh, problem with this reflective caption tape and the fact that this uh, this filament is very neutral, almost translucent, means it's very difficult to see what's going on, but uh, honestly it's laying some stuff down there. We'll come back in 20 minutes and see how it's doing. 20 minutes in, because 20 minutes didn't produce anything, and uh, the basic shapes come out. We've got the, the base and the hole, it's nothing complicated, it's just uh, something nice and sort of square to stand it on, maybe stick it on stuff. But uh, with 3D printing, this could go on for an hour, maybe 50 minutes, if you get a 40 minute print, that's quick. It might be rapid prototyping, but that's only compared to like whittling it out of wood and stuff. Okay, well there's the part printed. It took 57 minutes. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice tight fit in there. That's not going anywhere, let me tell you. Um, basically, it just sits in there. It's got a nice flat base. Uh, and this still ticks away nicely. Uh, but as it is, this is pretty useless. So next, we put something on there. Back on SketchUp now, and we've drawn up this little thing, which might look a little bit more familiar for lots of users. Uh, hopefully it's GoPro-sized, and has these notches in the bottom, which should fit on to what we have. I haven't drawn in uh, a capacitive belt holder for the uh, M8 this would use, because I'm thinking it's probably going to hold it tight or pretty much, but uh, we'll see on that one. Let's print it, see what happens. Okay, so here's our completed part. Uh, pretty basic stuff. And we should just be able to pop it on here. Like so. Little wiggle. This is a pretty good fit. So next, put a camera on it. Which then looks like this. I say the only lazy thing I did is not put a, um, a little bolt holder there, so it's a bit fiddly to tighten up. Um, however, it's on, and I should now just be able to do this, and that will turn around over a period of 20 minutes and take a panoramic time lapse, is the idea. I've gone with the flat bottom here, not because it will stand up got some weight behind it but I can put some velcro on and attach it to something else quite solidly because um, I might want to have it raised up or something like that but what's left now is of course go out and test this and see if it actually does something because it wouldn't look very exciting here it'd just be a picture of me. Well this is exciting I'm just in my park and there's not a lot going on it's really quite uh, almost foggy in the air but um, there's a cinema being built here, and I wondered if we could capture the men not doing an awful lot. I can't really see much happening. But uh, anyway, let's look guy down on the floor, uh, see what you can do in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. So almost instantly, and, and before seeing the footage, I thought to myself, the wide angle of the GoPro lens means this is going to look way too far away. And it was. So 
I moved it a bit closer and I went for a little bit of a longer pan over a period of maybe um, 15 minutes. Um, and I'm really happy with the results, actually. I, I think it seems to work really nicely. Um, I'm shooting here in time-lapse photo mode, so one frame every second um, and stitching it together. Um, and yeah, that was a, a good fun little project and I expect to be using this in some upcoming videos just as a, another option.